Hey guys, I'm Victor. And I'm Atlee. And welcome to, to Kids, Kids Live. Live. Welcome back to Kids Life, everybody. If you can see behind me, or next to me, there is a tree because we are decorating our Christmas tree today. I'm so excited. Uh, if you guys watched the episode last week, you know we're doing a series on Christmas. We're going from like the prophecies, the Old Testament talk about Jesus being born, and we're just going through different things, talking about the important parts of how Christmas came to be. Because Christmas is a great time of celebration when hope came into the world right now. The world kind of feels like it's not got a lot of hope in it right now with, you know, COVID and lockdowns and a bunch of other stuff going on. But Jesus Christ is the hope of the world. And so we can look to how that all began right now. Have you ever wondered if God could use you to do something awesome? Have you ever just wished that he would use you to have a cool life? Have you ever wondered if your life was going to have a purpose or if there was anything that God wanted you to do in this world. The good news is God has a plan for everybody's life. And Christmas is a really great example for that because like we talked about last week, God had a plan to save the world and he started it all the way from the beginning of humanity. And throughout the thousands of years that this plan was implemented, people were a part of God's plan without even realizing it, but they were still willing to do whatever God asked. God uses everyday people to do his work on earth. And there are lots of stories in the Bible of just ordinary people who had ordinary jobs or even who were really not even very special, you would think. And God took them and used them to do something amazing, something to show his love for all of us. And that is one of the great examples that we see in the Christmas story. Because today we're gonna to be talking about a very special young woman who seemed ordinary at first named Mary. I saw an angel yesterday and I, I just can't stop thinking about it. It was the weirdest conversation that we had. He just appeared and he was like, Mary, God is pleased with you and you're going to help have a baby that is from God. A baby that is from God. I'm gonna have a baby from God. All right, so our Bible story today comes from the book of Luke. Luke 1, and it starts in verse 26. And an angel appeared. The angel. <gasps> angel! <laughs> I would be freaked out if an angel appeared to me. It was like, boosh, there was light probably, and sounds, and like a huge doom probably. Do you think he was robe. like glowing? I think he was glowing. Yeah, he probably was. Probably had like like the light emanating from his face like this. Yeah. Do you think there was like music? I'm the angel. What did the angel say, Victor? The angel appeared to Mary, who was a young woman. He said to Mary, the Lord has found favor with you. He said, the Lord is pleased with you. Mary was a young woman who loved God very much and wanted to obey him. And so God chose her to be a part of the special plan to bring Jesus. So an angel came to Mary and was like, Oh, Mary, God really likes what you're doing. And we're going to let you know today that God wants to use you to do something cool. Exactly. She was going to be part of the plan to bring Jesus into the world. And she was going to do that by having Jesus as a baby. Yeah. The amazing thing about that is that it shouldn't have been possible for Mary to have baby Jesus, awesome. but it was a miracle that God made happen. God gave baby Jesus to Mary and put her, put her in charge of, of bringing baby Jesus into the world. And that is a miracle. And that is part of the miraculous birth of Jesus. And the birth is something that we'll cover in later in the series because the birth is also, the way that the birth happened is very important to not only 
how we can how we can be saved by Jesus, but also how the whole biblical prophecy thing worked. And speaking of prophecy, the fact that Mary, someone who it should have been impossible for her to have a baby, was going to give birth to Jesus is a prophecy, like we talked about last week with the prophecies of Jesus coming to earth in the Old Testament that was recorded. There is a verse in the Old Testament that gets posted right here where it talks about a young woman giving birth to the Savior, and he will be called Emmanuel, which means God with us. And it's another name for Jesus. And that's what Gabriel tells Mary, that her baby will be called. Well, hundreds of years before Mary met this angel, someone had already made a prophecy knowing that God was going to use some kind of a miraculous situation to bring baby Jesus into the world. And that's what they said. And then it happened. Boom. Just like that. <laughs> well, not just like that. It took nine months. But <laughs> just like that. All right. So our memory verse today comes from Luke chapter 1, verse 38a, which means it's the first half of that verse. And it says, Mary responded, I am the Lord's servant. May everything you have said about me come true. It's really interesting, right? Because Mary was just told this impossible thing was going to happen and God was going to use her for it because he was pleased with her and the way she loved God and wanted to serve him. And instead of being afraid, well, she might've been afraid anyway, but instead of reacting in fear, she said, I am the Lord's servant. I want to obey and serve God and do whatever it is that he asks of me. So may everything you say, that is going to happen, may it come true and happen. And I'm willing. Isn't that interesting how sometimes God has a plan that we might not think was a plan that we were going to be involved with, or maybe a plan that we're not, not be, we might not be a fan of. But if we say that we are willing, then God will honor our willingness. All right, everybody, it's time for us to decorate our tree. You are getting very <laughs> we also wanted to talk to you about some ways to apply this week's lesson to your life. So that means it's time for the life application. Doo -doo -doo. <laughs> so if God can do the impossible, I mean, what does that mean for us, right? What does it matter if God can do impossible things? Well, because he has a plan, that means that when stuff happens that maybe isn't great or stuff happens that kind of gets in our way that we don't know if God's going to fulfill the promise that he said, we can remember that because God can do the impossible, we can trust him to follow through. Like we talked about before, it should have been impossible for Mary to have a baby at all, and yet God made it happen because it was part of his plan to bring the savior of the world into the world. And whenever you feel like you're not sure if God can use you, you can remind yourself that there are lots of times in the Bible where God has used ordinary people and he wants to use you too. God is not looking for the people who can, but those who will. Like we talked about in our memory verse, Mary said to the angel who just told her this impossible thing was going to happen. She was going to be having a baby in nine months who was going to be the savior of the world, which also would kind of stress you out, I think. She said, instead of like, no way, or that's impossible, or oh my goodness, I don't want to do that. She said, I'm the Lord's servant. May it happen as you've said. She was willing for God to do the impossible through her. And we can be willing to serve God, even if it seems impossible to. <laughs> that's what we've got for you guys this time. We'll see you next time on Kids Alive. Stay safe. See you later. And Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Bye. Bye. And now it's time for some Animoji bloopers. Some things that we uh, were doing with Animojis a couple weeks ago that we just couldn't actually end up doing because we just, <laughs> they were too goofy. So uh, enjoy them. I'm Billy and I'm the handsomest leper in all of Jerusalem, which isn't saying a lot because Leprosy makes you really ugly, and then you die. I can read the scripture! Oh no, I'm a sinner! <laughs>
You guys, an angel came to me yesterday. It was an angel. Ooh. The angel was calling out to me like a foghorn. It was saying, Mary, Mary.